Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing the installation of the Haas 6437 Y-Strainer Replacement Kit onto the 1200 series electric water cooler. The following instructions remain the same for all non-filtered 1200 series models. In the kit, you will find the installation drawing as well as the new Y-Strainer assembly. Required tools will include the need for a stubby Phillips head screwdriver. Begin by removing the cooler skirt by removing the four screws on the bottom of the unit. Now that the cooler skirt has been removed, turn off the water by rotating the water stop clockwise. Be cautious for the next step as the unit is still powered on at this point. Dispense water briefly to relieve the water pressure in the line. Shut off the electrical power by now unplugging the electrical cord. Ensure that the lights underneath the bowl, as well as the backlit display and the bottle filler light are off before continuing. This does not apply on the 1201S or 1202S models that lack a bottle filler and or a filter. You will have to ensure the power is off manually on these models. The Y strainer is located on the left side of the cooler just behind the skirt. Remove the single screw holding the Y strainer bracket to the water cooler frame and pull the Y strainer out so that it is accessible. Disconnect the inlet and outlet tubing from the Y strainer by depressing the collet and pulling the water line out. You can now connect the inlet and outlet tubing to the new Y strainer, making note of the flow direction arrow on the side of the Y strainer. Place the Y strainer into its bracket and reattach it to the water cooler frame using the Phillips head screwdriver. Follow this by now turning the water stop counterclockwise supplying the unit with water and plugging the unit back in returning power to the unit. Check that power has been restored by checking the LEDs underneath the bowl, the bottle filler and the backlit display or manually if your unit does not have these features. Check for leaks at the Y strainer before replacing the fountain skirt being careful to slide it underneath the ledge of the black plastic near the top of the fountain when reinstalling the skirt. Then replace the four screws on the bottom to secure it into place. Activate the water at each bubbler head, at first covering it with a cup to control any air that may have gotten trapped during installation of the Y strainer. The air will purge itself and flow will normalize in a few seconds. At this point, you have successfully installed the new 6437 Y-Strainer assembly. If you have any questions, please contact our customer service team at 1-800-766-5612.